I will get my drink on tonight I'ma get loose, get wild If you're not in the mood right now Honey, don't kill my, my vibe I will get my drink on tonight I'ma get loose, get wild If you're not in the mood right now Honey, don't kill my, my vibe I'm gonna party until I drop When I begin, I don't know how to stop I can party on till the morning comes Till the sun goes up, we don't stop, no Hey guys, great to be back. So today the uh, internet went crazy about the uh, uh, vlog about the relationship to our inner child. Um, 30 views in, oh well, six hours or so. That's not bad. So thanks for uh, watching the video. It's really close to my heart because I really think that is something that can help us to get more in touch with ourselves um, and to love ourselves more because the whole thing with love yourself, if we don't know who we are, ultimately you can forget that because that doesn't help anybody. So today actually was my day off, I thought. <laughs> um, I taught a yoga class and when I teach the classes, I usually have a little monologue at the beginning, you know, so uh, don't think you're the only ones who suffer through my monologues here. So. Um, Anyway, today uh, I picked up um, one of my favorite authors, Swami Vivekananda. So as you can see from the book, I've been uh, carrying that one around for a while. Um, so mainly it is my fault because, first of all, it was old when I got it. And um, usually my books look pristine. But this one I've been carrying around for a while. I think I just read it really slowly. To me, some of the stuff in here is just mind-blowing. So. Um, I thought maybe today I'd take a day off, but then I picked up the book, I, I opened it at a random page while my students were meditating, you know, so I skipped the meditation, sorry guys. And, and then I read something and it inspired me so much because to me it describes what is going on in the world at the moment. I mean, one thing is Corona, obviously, but the other thing is to me a mindset that has been around for a while and that is at the basis of all of our problems. This is so essential to understand and it's so interesting that it was written way over a hundred years ago by somebody who had some insights to that but we, we didn't listen and we're still not listening. I think that's a a human problem anyway because we have all the knowledge here to solve these problems mainly the knowledge is that the problems can't be solved from our head but we don't listen we still with full force run our head against the wall and the wall is not moving an inch so so you know i guess we'll keep on doing that so swami vivekananda who was one of the first yogis who brought yoga to the West. Really, really amazing human being uh, who died at the young age, to me nowadays, you know, at 40. Doesn't work without anymore, unfortunately. Listen carefully. Really wise words. This is the basis of all ignorance that we, the immortal, the ever pure, the perfect spirit think that we are little minds, that we are little bodies. It is the mother of all selfishness. As soon as I think that I'm a little body, I want to preserve it, to protect it, to keep it nice at the expense of other bodies. Then you and I become separate. As soon as this idea of separation comes, it opens the door to all mischief and leads to all misery. This is the utility that if a very small fractional part of human beings living today can put aside the idea of selfishness, narrowness and littleness, this earth will become paradise tomorrow. But with machines and improvements of material knowledge only, it will never be. This 
only increases misery as oil poured on fire increases the flame all the more. Without the knowledge of spirit, all material knowledge is only adding fuel to fire, only giving into the hands of selfish men one more instrument to take what belongs to others, to live upon the life of others, instead of giving up his life for them. Is it practical? Is another question. Can it be practiced in modern society? Truth does not pay homage to any society, ancient or modern. Society has to pay homage to truth or die. Societies should be molded upon truth and truth has not to adjust itself to society. If such a noble truth as unselfishness cannot be practiced in society, it is better for man to give up society and go into the forest. That is the daring man. There are two sorts of courage. One is the courage of facing the cannon, and the other is the courage of spiritual conviction. Pooh. You know, I, to me, this book is kind of orgasmic in a way, you know, I get a little, I like, I like slight orgasms when I read this stuff. I mean, only my head, of course. It's so amazing because, you know, I can't say the word because Google will be mad with me. I mean, YouTube will be mad with me. But this is so true and this is so important. And if we can't be celebrating truth, if we can't be truthful, if we can't be unselfish in society, what well, we haven't been in a goddamn long time, then why have a society? Why have a society? For what? I don't need to say more. He said it all. And just feel it with your heart. I mean, to me, this feels so true. And to me, that's the big question that we have to face. Do we want to keep on being little minds and little bodies and be afraid of all kinds of stuff? I mean, everything, disease, the virus. And I'm not saying, you know, don't take care of business, but fear, 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 fear. And it's only because we only think this is all we have. That's it, done, finished. Nothing else to it. And then, of course, we're afraid. Because this is all we have, and when it's over, it's done. It's finished. We've lost all connection to spirituality. And that's a big part of who we are. And if this society wants to live its life without that spirit, I don't want to live my life in this society. Honestly, I don't. Because, you know, what's the difference to death? None. Zero. Same thing. Just dead men walking. That's it. There's nothing else to it. Well, I've got my juices flowing. <laughs> Thank you for uh, listening and watching. I see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.